Good evening folks and welcome back to another video. Uh, we're going to be looking at the Speccy 2010 ZX Spectrum clone. Um, this is a um, clone of a Sinclair Spectrum computer which was developed in the Ukraine last year in 2010, hence the name Speccy 2010. Um, the system consists of an ARM7 microcontroller here, an FPGA, now, the beauty of FPGA devices is you can obviously program them with whatever firmware you want. They're an SD card. Obviously, each time Speccy 2010 is powered up, the firmware is loaded from an SD card. And um, this then um, loads any relevant ROMs, either Spectrum 48K ROM, Pentagon ROM, etc. So you can have, you have a, a Spectrum 48K or Pentagon machine running on this. Um, I would really say that this device, it's not quite like an, a real Sinclair Spectrum machine because there's no Zilog Z80 microprocessor on here. There's no AY chip. So, in a way, I would kind of call it a hardware emulator. Because obviously we've got the ARM7 hit, um, CPU here and FPGA here. What I'm now going to do is give you just a quick tour of the board and a description of the ports. So obviously on the front here we have two 9-pin Atari ports. These will accept any joystick wired to the um, Atari standard, which would normally be um, an Atari 2600 joystick or a Sinclair um, uh, joystick such as um, a Kempston or quick shot joystick, etc. Here we have a, a coin cell battery. This is to store any settings, which is set via Specky 2010's configuration menu. Um, obviously, got those clips in the battery there. On the side here, obviously, a slot for an SD card. This contains the firmware for the FPGA. And also our Sinclair Spectrum ROMs, which are loaded when the system is first switched on. Here we have a keyboard and mouse port. Um, the keyboard it will accept any PS2 PC keyboard. Um, obviously, if you only have a USB keyboard, you could use an adapter, a USB to PS2 adapter to plug in there. Um, next to this, we also see um, the mouse port. Obviously, this accepts again a PS2 um, PC mouse. Um, I can't say I've tested a PC mouse of any Spectrum software at the moment on, on this uh, board, but um, for those who have used an original um, Spectrum machine, you might remember the Kempston or AMX mouses, which we used with the Artist 2 art package for the Sinclair Spectrum. So if the mouse does work, then it should ideally work with that really. So I have yet to test that. Um, on the back, we have a composite port. This will basically, it is a video output via composite. It's also a VGA port for connection to a PC monitor. You can basically switch between um, the outputs here. So we've got composite, VGA, super video out. Now you can switch on the keyboard between which one of these uh, video outputs you want to use. I would always opt for VGA. So it's you know the, the clearer kind of picture of that. Next to the to, to the super video out um, port here, we have a 3.5 mil jack. Obviously, this is for connection to a set of speakers. Um, next to this is our USB port, port here. This is your standard um, USB type printer cable um, port here. And you would basically connect that to your PC if, if you want to debug the firmware, you know, if, if you're a developer. Um, finally, we have um, our power. This uh, the actual board is powered via a 5 volt power supply with positive tip. Um, that's basically a tour of the board. So what we will be doing in a moment is powering it all up and seeing how we get on. Right, Specky 2010 is now powered up. 
So you can see we've got here um, our classic Sinclair logo there. Um, the firmware has just loaded off the, the uh, micro SD card into the FPGA. Um, obviously, we do have some settings on here. This is what um, the, the Specky 2010 board has in there. I'm sorry about this flash on my camera. It's a bit of a pain in the butt to read what's on the screen. Obviously, all of these settings here are stored via a battery backed clock, like your time and date and everything else. Um, I'll try and turn this light off because it's a bit annoying. That's better. Right. Okay. As you can see here, we can select what type of spectrum model the board is going to run. It's currently set to Spectrum 48K. We can cycle through the different settings. Pentagon 128, Pentagon 1024, Spectrum 48 again. Um, obviously, there's turbo mode here. This is for running um, any Ukrainian or Russian demos which like run on the, on the ZX Evo machines and stuff like that. Obviously, um, joystick emulation, which is currently set to Kempston, um, the actual Specky 2010 board will take um, any Atari 9-pin wired joystick, um, which would normally be the same specification as used on the Atari 2600 games console. Um, quite, quite a lot of people are using Sega Mega Drive pads on this board at the moment, and that seems to work quite well. Obviously, Joysticks were great for their day, but you know, after playing with joypads for so many years, it tends to um, be a lot easier with a good old um, joypad. Um, obviously, you can set the refresh rates here, the video modes. This is currently set to VGA 60 Hertz. Um, you can flick through these. Fonts here, it's currently set to bold. Again, we can cycle through these. Classic ZX Spectrum font there. Um, alternative font. And back to bold again. That's basically our settings menu. Um, to come out of this, we just hit the escape button on the PC keyboard. Takes us out. Straight back to Sinclair Basic. OK. Now, F12 brings up Specky 2010's file browser. Um, so if we go to games, these are all Sinclair Spectrum emulator files on here, which are mostly in TAP uh, format. I, I generally prefer TAPs because they don't have all these silly um, high-speed loaders on there like Speedlock and Alcatraz, and it's a bit more easier to um, insert pokes with them. So uh, you, you just generally go for the Specky 2010 screen using the, the, the actual file browser we're in at the moment, using the cursor keys, and then just selecting the game to load, really, as easy as that. Um, let's see if we can find something. Uh, let's go for something with a demo mode, because I can't play games and film at the same time, I'm not sure if that will work, it's 128 game, 128k game there, load. Obviously, load blip blip. To load the game now, we just press plus on the keyboard. There's no sound at the moment because I haven't got any speakers plugged into the Specky 2010 main board, but as you can see, it's loading just as it would from a cassette tape. Now, this is going to take a while to load, so I won't leave this running because you will get bored shitless waiting for it to load up. So um, I'm going to pause the video and I will be back in a moment. Right, the game's powered up now and uh, it's currently in demo mode. So we're going to give you a little preview. Okay, there we go. There's Enjoy Eraser running in demo mode. Um, classic... Um, motorbike racing game which was made by Sega. The original coin up was but um the, the Spectrum version was made by Activision. That concludes our video of the Specky twenty ten development board for this evening. Um, I'd just like to thank Sid um from the Ukraine for his 
work um, on this project and um, for shipping me the board over to the UK, which is the second one to arrive. Um, and I'd also like to say to my subscribers, thank you for watching and I shall see you soon. Goodbye.